channel. And guess what? I'm sitting in a restaurant right now. As you can see, there's people coming in. I just finished my... Uh, Hello, you beautiful people. I just finished my meal. I will show you now. I'm busy drinking on my beer just to finish it off. And then we're going to hit the streets. So what I want to do is... I want to show you guys if restaurants are operating during this pandemic year in China. And there's a reason I'm doing this video. Um, I've been seeing a lot of reports on the news and on YouTube channels, trustworthy channels, that restaurant owners have a serious, serious issue in the US. They can't stay open, they can't operate, they are losing their livelihoods. They are struggling over there in the US. So that is why I want to do this live stream. And you guys know that I bring you in live into China that you can see with your own eyes without any editing videos. Um, I feel it's more truth, more uh, trustworthy to see it in real time as how I see it. And um, what I want to do is, I, like I said, I just finished my meal. So I'm going to go into the streets when I finish this beer. And we're going to walk around and we will peek into restaurants and see if they are indeed operating. I think this is the best way of getting to a conclusion. And um, I hope my American friends watch these kind of live streams and videos that they just understand that their Alpha and Omega, as they think they are politicians, are not really doing enough for them. Um, I feel they are lying to their own people. And here in China, the ones that is getting the, you know, the hard time throughout this virus breakout and all this blame and all this hatred towards this country, they are in fact the people and the government that are doing the right thing and are back to normal operating. So to start off, I'm going to finish this beer by saying hello to everyone in the chat real quick. Um, I'm always happy for you guys to join. Hey, everybody says hello. Hello, Sun Tun. Always good to see you. John SS, American friend. Always good to see you. Guys, do me a favor. Go ahead and click that like button. That is very important. If you are wondering what beer I'm drinking, I've got my favorite black Qingdao beer right here in my city called Qingdao. Now, hey, hello, hello. Please go ahead and tell me where you guys are watching from. And um, I just want to show you the restaurant that, I'm, that I just had my meal is like a real Qingdao restaurant with some sea fish over there. Um, and yeah, I've got a cool nickname people are starting to nickname me the gala god <laughs> because I always eat gala and I stay in Qingdao so I thought that was funny um, and I want to remind you if you are watching this this video or this stream right now um, I am on Chinese social media now on Tao Tiao as well as Bili Bili do me a big solid the links are in the description go follow me there because I feel it's it's, it's time for me to move to some Chinese platforms as well. And uh, for me, it's all about the message. I, I want people to hear my message and see if they agree with me, disagree with me. You see, this whole channel's mission is not to fight against other people, but I do go up against fake Western media. And the main thing is, I just want you guys to see reality as how I see it. And we need that in the world right now we definitely need truth you can't rely on news networks only anymore you can't you need channels like this that i take you in live um, into china for example and you see with your own eyes and i hope this will help you to make your own decisions on reality what is happening around the world so yeah let me finish off this bad boy as you can see in this restaurant randomly next to the street people are coming in people are eating people are enjoying themselves this restaurant is functioning and one thing very interesting that i saw is you know if if restaurants are in trouble 
they will cut cost as much as they can just to survive now if you guys see this this is their little package they give to you um, if you come eat here I just want to show you guys this thing is wrapped still I just want to show you that look at the quality chopsticks you get in this restaurant I don't know if you guys can see it but it's a brilliant brilliant quality um, chopstick you get in, in this packaging you get an awful lot of uh, Soviets what do you call this like tissue many of them you've got two toothpicks and then also in there you have your plastic and gloves for if you eat what I just had I had some buffalo wings I'll show you guys right now you have two of these and obviously you have your little wet like, uh, like what do you call it a wet wipe to clean your fingers and your mouth after you eat now the reason I show you this is just to show you guys that these guys in fact don't try to to cut cost to survive they are operating like normal <laughs> in this midst of this pandemic they are operating to the fullest of their ability they are doing business my friends they are doing business cheers on that black king dog beer so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna put on my face mask and uh, I'm gonna take you guys in the streets real quick that we can go see um, if there's other restaurants open are they in, in fact opened and uh, yeah let's let's hit the road I already paid I just want to show you guys what I had so there's my buffalo wings that I just had and uh, my beer and that's the packaging that I that I got with my meal so just to show you guys that the restaurants are in fact operating there's still people here enjoying themselves and look at that in China you you hear there is such a shortage of uh, there's there's food shortages but as you can see here fresh from the sea fully stacked so let's go out and see what we can find on the street because that is the important part of this whole stream right first of all it's a Sunday it is a uh, wow look at that over there good goods I guess I must put my merch there right <laughs> it is a Sunday it is just past one o'clock so people are out and about eating and we're just gonna hit random streets to uh, see and peek into restaurants and see if they're operating and ladies and gentlemen I want to make it clear to my American friends that my heart goes out to all the restaurant owners that are suffering because of your government that don't know how to handle such a disaster as this pandemic as you see right across the street already I'll walk there right now there's a little corner shop restaurant and this thing is packed people love the street food here they really love it they even queue up for this let me show you this and again this is not to make my American friends restaurant owners jealous I just want to show you that in fact a government like in China are operating well and this is what happens this is the type of clientele they get when they follow the right steps and when they in fact look after their people there's a little restaurant right here the lady is busy preparing some food that's some malatan in there I think um, but as you can see ladies and gentlemen this is right on the street and this place is busy these guys are operating they are back in business and <laughs> people are enjoying this one right here a little street food restaurant this guy is rocking and rolling there's a real restaurant right here fully packed as you guys can see thank you for all that likes um, go ahead and click that like button it's very important listen my friends this is a really sad story because I feel a leading country such as America is not supposed to do what they are doing to their own people right now it is it is a sad reality my friends but your government is failing you and yet they are trying to brainwash you to hate a country like this a country that is operating a country that is back to normal 
and people are doing their business, people without face masks. This too just had some ice cream, as you can see. This is really, really, really cool, man. This is really, really cool to see. And so by the way, McDonald's in those places doesn't count. So there is a McDonald's just ahead of us, but that doesn't count because that is big businesses. What I want to do is, I want to show you the, the small, normal business owner restaurant. Um, I want to show you that they are in fact operating and they are doing business. They are back to normal. These guys are making their living. They are going forward. And I just can't get my head around this why the world will say it's such a bad government um, operating here in China. And I seriously can't understand how people want to say that these people are oppressed. They are, they are struggling. They want to run. They want to escape this country. Which in fact is not true, my friends. It is 100% not true. These guys fight to stay in their own country. There's a little, as you can see there, this is like a, 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 a milkshake bar. Or you can get some tea, chocolate tea here. Hey, hello, hello. <laughs> Look how friendly the people are. And they are operating. They even have new systems there. So that thing over there, you just scan your WeChat code and bam, you get your, your little drink that you just ordered. Uh, I, I don't know what more I can do to bring you guys reality and truth more than this. Going live into the streets to prove to you. Because, you know, I see a lot of comments in the side chat already. I do read them guys afterwards. If I don't reply to them, my apologies. But uh, I see a lot of people are talking about BBC. Exactly. Yes, KFC. It doesn't count. Over there is McDonald's, but it doesn't count. We look for the normal, normal restaurant, normal business owner. I see a lot of people are talking about the BBC. My friends, all new news networks are lying to the people to keep control because they are operated by the elites. The elites operate the capitalist countries and the <laughs> they make sure their selected politicians stay in power and that is why they brainwash their own people in the same breath they scream freedom they scream freedom is the future of the world but in fact people are struggling this people living under this government have a real real restaurant as you can see fully packed a small business restaurant right here and as you can see, my friends, they are operating, they are making money. This is a normal, normal small restaurant on the corner. Also over there you have Burger King, but Burger King doesn't count. That is a big business. I mean, really, think about it. And I will speak about this right now, but think about this. Like this little shop right here are selling again also tea and like uh, like iced tea <laughs> iced tea and chocolate cakes and all sorts of stuff but right here in Jiangshan Road I'm going from north to south this place is surviving right here during the pandemic now here's the thing I want to talk about restaurants go out of business because they can't afford the rent if there's no clients, they can't afford the rent and they can't operate. Well, my friends, the reason China works so well is these landlords that rent these, play, these locations to the restaurant owners and small shops like that selling their cocoa and iced tea and all sorts of stuff on the, on the streets. Hello, hello, on the streets. These owners of these locations was ordered by the government to reduce the rent during the pandemic last year already. Look, everything is back to normal now. They are pay, paying full rent now and they, they are making their living. It's back to normal basically, but they do still have 
rules and regulations, but the government ordered these people to be nice to their renters and to reduce the price of these locations to make these restaurants and small shops survive. You know, it went so far that some of these owners of these locations, some of these owners told the restaurant owners and the small shops that they can operate their business without paying rent for a couple of months till everything is back to normal. Why does this happen? Because you have a government that look after the people first. That is what is the problem in America. The government doesn't look after the people first. They look after the elites, that 1% that are rich in these capitalist countries. They look after them first before they think about the people. In China, it's completely opposite, the opposite. The government think about the people first. Now, the apartment where I live, in China it works like this. Normally you pay like six months at a time, your rent. That's how it works in China. So for six months you pay your rent, next six months you pay your next semester of rent, basically. My landlord rang me up and he told me, now here's the funny thing. He's actually from Hong Kong. He's a Hong, he lives in Hong Kong. He, He's a Hong Kong citizen. Well, he lives in Hong Kong. He's got a Hong Kong ID card. He was ordered because he have an apartment here in China that they must stop my six months rent. Six months. This is six, by the way, in China. That's why I do this. My six months rent, they must cut it to every third month. And for me, that was amazing because at that time I struggled also. They reduced my salary. Uh, I, I went through trouble myself. But my landlord rang me up and he told me, listen, my friend, you can only pay every three months till everything is back to normal. Now that is an effective way how this Chinese government helped their people. Hello, ni hao. Ni hao. friendly people over there. Anyway, my friend, back to the businesses. Here is a small restaurant right here, as you can see. This thing is jam packed. People are going in and out constantly. As I peek right through this window here, you can see this place is packed with people in there. These guys are operating. They are operating. And you know what, my friends? Look at this. The Chinese people are on the streets. They are on the streets, rocking and rolling. Again, why? Because they listen, trust and follow their government. Because they know their government is run by engineers and scientists and very highly intelligent people that has one goal and one goal only, that is success, for their people, not for themselves. Never do, never, never make that mistake. It's not for the government themselves. It's for their people. They want to see their people rise to the top. That is why this is happening right now. This is why all shops are open. Restaurants are open, my friends. Small little street food shops are busy. Again, small shops are operating. They are busy. Doors are wide open. How many doors do you see here? Because I can't handle the amount of customers through going through one door. This is how a country should operate, my friends. Never listen to that nonsense that the BBC, CNN, Fox News, all that fake, fake news networks are trying to tell you. This is reality and that is why I bring you guys live into this. This is why I bring you live into China. I see there's a steak ranch right there on the corner. Let's go investigate. Let's see if the doors are in fact open now. While I walk to that steak ranch, Chinese people stick to their own food. They love their food. But here's the thing. They have Western foods in their countries. Now, the Western foods are normally very expensive if you go to these restaurants, right? It's not normal prices like what we have back in, in our countries. In China, it's very expensive. So, which tells me before I walk there, I suspect this doors will be closed. If it's not, again I prove to you 
that this government is operating. So let us see. This is a steak ranch, 100% Western food. It's a steak and coffee house, it says. Pretty nice place. I haven't eaten here. Maybe I should come here sometime. But let's see. Here it is. It says Red Family Western Restaurant. Bam! The doors are open. The doors are open. You can go in. And what is this? The restaurant is jam packed, my friend. Jam packed. Listen, this is crazy. In that restaurant, that Western restaurant over there, there's a lot of people eating. These prices are very expensive, which tells me and you that these people have money to eat in a place like this. These restaurants are making money. They are making money. Sad reality, my friends. This is sad reality. I just got a Patreon, new Patreon. Thank you so much, my friend, for joining my Patreon account. If you want to join my Patreon account, the links are in the description. Thank you for becoming a Patreon. But my friends, back to this. This is the sad reality that I want my American friends to see. Turn your eyes away right now from your news networks. I beg you. Turn your eyes. Hey, Nihal. Xin Yang Kuai La. Friendly Chinese young men on the streets. I want you to turn your eyes away right now from this western lies media fake news controlled by the elites propaganda to brainwash you this is the sad reality my friends this is how it is but yet they want to blame they want to blame a safe polite friendly society like this they want to blame these people you know why because they are jealous they are 100% jealous and they can't do what the Chinese people are doing. The Chinese people are indeed fighting. They are fighting this virus and they are busy conquering this virus, my friends. Things are back to normal. It's so open. It's sad for me to go onto YouTube and see reality of my American friends, restaurant owners, losing their jobs, their livelihoods, their kids suffer and it's their government's fault nobody else's fault it's not China's fault it's American government's fault that is the reason anyway I had a super sticker earlier I just want to say thank you to to whoever sent that I was too late on clicking that I did see it thank you very much I do appreciate it Look at this little coffee shop right here, right here on the corner. A little coffee shop, my friends. But they are operating. The lights are on. They are operating. They are busy. They are making money. They are back to normal. They are back to normal, my friends. Look at this. This guy will draw a picture of you. Hey. <laughs> he will draw a picture of you right there on the street doing his thing. My friends, we're just going to make a turn down here and quickly see if we see more restaurants. I do think I showed you that restaurants are in fact open. They are in fact operating. Um, but let's just put the cherry on the cake in a random back street as this and see what we can find are there restaurant doors open my friends i want to make it clear my heart is bleeding that is why i'm doing this stuff don't think this is a in your face for my american friends i do hope this is a eye opener for you guys that there's a small restaurant right here very small but it's opening 
It's, it's, it's serving its people and the smell is just delicious as hell, let me tell you that. R3D pal, thank you so much. You can see he's got a Jiggly Hung logo next to his name. The reason for that is he became a channel member. You can do the same. There we go, my friends. Another restaurant, wide open, and the smell is fantastic. And you can even drink some cocktails here in this restaurant. Look at that meat. Restaurants open. And what do we find here, my friends? A Muslim lady with her little shop right here. Muslim food is awesome. Jam-packed inside here. And you can even see there, he's got his Muslim hat on. How cheer. Friendly people. Before people say, no, she's oppressed. She's on purposely put there by, she's an actor. She's an actor. Look at this, my friends. Restaurants are fully open. People are eating inside. They are eating fantastically awesome, delicious foods. My friends, did I already tell you guys, thank you for that 100 likes. That's freaking awesome of you all. Let's see if we can get to 150, shall we? So by the way, I want to show you guys something. Look there on my head. This morning, I was getting out of the shower <laughs> and I slipped and my shower doors got, it's got uh, I've got the sliding glass doors. <laughs> and as I slipped, I grabbed the door and I fell to the left and bam, smacked my head against the door. Hey, Jigali Young, always good to see you. Here we can see fantastic, fantastic food. It even says, enjoy the food. And what is happening inside there, my friends? Again, customers enjoying their food. That is a supermarket over there. Opened up, serving its people to get their food they need. My friends, as I said, Burger King doesn't count. Sophia, thank you for that super chat. There was early one, earlier one as well. Uh, it's a super sticker. Thank you. I didn't say thank you to the previous guy, but I do appreciate it. Um, let's just go down here. My friends, I think I made my point. There's no way that the BBC, CNN, Fox, or any Western fake news media around the world can discredit our live streams. This is live. You walk live with me. You saw with your own eyes. Restaurants are packed, they are open, they are serving the best quality food. They don't cut their cost by giving you cheaper chopsticks or lesser service or bad quality food, not at all. In fact, it's better. In fact, it's, it's top standard food and service you still get in these restaurants. That is insane. Here's a foreigner, let's see if we can say hello. Hello, my friend. Hello. Uh, can you say hello here for my for my people? Let's say hello. I just found a foreigner hello. here in Qingdao. Hello, hello. Yeah, where are you from? England. England? Yeah. Where about? Uh, Birmingham originally. Oh, nice, my friend. This where, is my where are you from? South Africa. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is my YouTube channel, my buddy. I just found a, another Qing... Are you here in... You're locally in Qingdao? Uh, I live in Jinan. I'm just visiting Qingdao, but I was living here before previously, oh, yeah. so I know it a little bit. My friend, quickly tell my friends, what do you think of Qingdao like in one sentence? Only one sentence. Oh, go for it. Go for it, buddy. I love Qingdao. It's awesome, especially for swimming in the sea in the summer. You can't do that right now. It's too cold. Damn um, straight. But uh, yeah, it's awesome for swimming in the summer. There's a, a good few beaches. And there's a nice island as well where you can actually snorkel. Oh, yeah. Because the water's clear. And there's nice. Like, it's like a sort of rock pool thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which is really awesome. So I love it. And uh, lots of good seafood, uh, of course, by the sea. Do you know Gala? That small shellfish. They, they eat it here in Qingdao. It's like a small, small shellfish. I but think they call it gala. They eat many shellfish. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's like a little clamp fish thing. Have you seen that? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe I have. I'm not sure. Yeah. My friends, I just met him. Sorry, what's your name, my friend? I'm Jerry. Owen. Owen. I just met Owen on the street. So he says you guys must get yourselves into Qingdao, right? Yes, I totally recommend it. Yeah, thank, you awesome. for, thank you for that, my Welcome. friend. I do appreciate it. Cheers, thank cheers. You. All right, so I just found a local, uh, well, he's not really local from Qingdao, but a, a foreigner on the street randomly. So there you have it. He likes Qingdao. I showed you guys the restaurants are open. As you can see here, right in front of me, people are out and about. They are busy. 
They are rocking and rolling. Uh, an English, an English uh, actor passing by. Exactly. I was trying to tell you guys, please turn your eyes away from the Western media. Follow this channel. I will bring you Stone Cold Truth Reality live streams from inside this country. Tell your friends about this channel. Um, let's let's grow this community. Let's let's stand up against spreading of hate and false information. Let's let's bring reality to the world, my friends. Let's bring reality to the world. And uh, I am on Chinese social media platforms now with Chinese uh, subtitles translated. So please go do follow me there. You can become a Patreon. Links are in the description. You be, you can become a channel member. Links are in the description. All that good stuff. <coughs> Excuse me, please go ahead and click that like button, share button. Thank you for joining me again here in Qingdao, China today. My friends, may this be an eye-opener to all, all my American friends and people around the world, especially the restaurant business owners. This is what, this is, this is what you want to see. This is what you want to see. You don't want to hear that you're not allowed to open. You don't want to hear that... The whole economy is falling and they don't care about you. You don't want to hear that. You want your government to make sure your people still, still support you. You want to make sure your government cares about you. You want to operate. You want to thrive like the people in the great country of China. I just want to read that final two super stickers. Or there's one from Sophia again. Thank you, Sophia and a Chinese name. I can't be Chinese, but thank you very much. Guys, I do appreciate it. Thank you for joining me in this beautiful city. And I'll see you guys in another stream. Do remember, I'm on Chinese social media. And she's going to get married. Hello. 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 <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye for now. Okay. Oh, you want to see? Happy New Year. Let's, let's, let's put here. Happy New Year. Hi. That's the groom. That's the bride. Very beautiful. Shui Piao Liang. Happy New Year, my friends. See you guys in the next video. Bye for now.